What's going on everyone? Justin here with Trading Cards and More back with another box opening video. Today we're going to be opening some baseball. I know we normally do basketball on the channel, but I've had these ba uh, baseball cards here for a couple weeks now. I actually picked these up last week. Um, I do believe it was last week. I found some 2019 update. Uh, 2019 update. So pretty good product. Uh, I got my buddy Brett in here. He's a pretty big fan of baseball and he opens all these products all the time. So if you guys want to learn some knowledge, definitely go check or check his channel out. Uh, he wants to post his link, otherwise you can just click on his icon uh, in the chat and you'll go to his channel. And then I was at Walgreens and they had some 2020 hanger boxes. And I haven't found any at Walgreens since this product first came out. You could find the yellow parallels in here. And uh, I was really lucky and got a, um, a, a Jordan Alvarez uh, rookie card, which I sold for like 100 bucks. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure these are going to have the yellow um, parallels in there, but hopefully they do. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get into that. And then I picked this up not knowing it was any good or not. Uh, Brett said it's not very good, but uh, it was only 15 or $16 on clearance. So I figured when I got it, I was like, well, I'm sure there's something good in there. So we're probably going to start with 2020 uh, Series 1. I, I probably did about 30 of these boxes. Back when it came out, there were so many good cards and the prices were really good. Uh, I actually just recently sold a lot of my rookie cards out from these packs. And I'm still in the process of, process of doing so. So you get the um, turkey red cards in here. You get some pretty cool inserts. I think the gold cards are like maybe one in three on these. Uh, as Brett actually just posted a video about the odds, um, they produced more cards in 2020, so... Therefore, like your cards that are numbered, um, there's the same amount of those cards out there, but there's more boxes out there. Therefore, your odds per pack are going to be a lot less. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, go go subscribe to Brett. Uh, you see him in the chat there. And we got MyOpsNet in here. What's going on? It says, I love Topps Baseball. Yeah, if you like Topps Baseball, like I said, Brett is like, he knows this stuff so, so good. Uh, we got Tatis Jr., second year card there. And we're looking for all the major rookies here of this first set. And I have noticed with these boxes, too, because I opened so many of them, that the cards are, like, always in the same order, too. Um, like that Ronald Acuna. And you always get that upside down, and then all the other cards are right side up. It's kind of annoying. There's a Juan Soto. It's pretty decent. So I'm not as knowledgeable as, um, as Brett is, but, I mean, I started buying baseball cards when I was pretty young. Uh, and then I kind of got out of the hobby. And ba basketball is definitely my forte, but um, if there's good products out there, I definitely pick it up. We've got Roger Clemens insert card there. There's a Vladdy Jr. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Just some sort of an insert card. Alex Bregman. And then we get into the turkey red cards. Every now and then you'll get a turkey red chrome card. Hey, look at that. We got a Jordan Alvarez. And I just, I think I had like 10 of these and I sold them for about, I think it was right around $6 a piece. And uh, sometimes you get a nice PSA 10 worthy card and I'll kind of look look it over later under the light because I think those are definitely going to be worth uh, grading. He did win uh, Rookie of the Year last year. So Jordan Alvarez rookie card in the first pack. So that's pretty much pays for half the pack there at least. Uh, Chad's in the house. What's going on, Chad? Yeah, Chad, if you want to sub subscribe to uh, Brett there in the chat, he's pretty knowledgeable on this stuff. Um, him and I go way back. There's a Jesus Lazardo. Uh, he's a pretty decent rookie card. I've been, I think th these are going for about a buck a piece as far as bolt, bolt goes, but I did pull one of his short print rookie cards, which is a pretty decent one. I think that I'm sending that one off to PSA. Um, all right, now we're getting towards the back of the pack here. So we are looking for more of the key cards. So in the middle there, we didn't get like a short print. We didn't get a gold card. Heck, I didn't even see one of the rainbow cards in there. So that was kind of strange. But We got a Mike Trout card. I, I have got the short print of this one, which I think he's facing the other way. Uh, I know I got that before. I think it was his extended stat card or whatever. And I want to say I sold that for 20 or 25 bucks. So that's a decent one. 
All right, getting into box number two. Like I said, when these came out, I probably did, I don't know, 30 boxes of these when they came out, and I definitely got my money out of them. I mean, at 10 bucks a piece. Uh, Walgreens, I think, was 9.99, I think. And uh, Target was always 9.99, and then Walmart was like 10.99. But um, if you guys did notice, there was not any yellow cards in there. Um, so even though I got these at Walgreens, apparently it was only the first run they got at Walgreens <clears throat> that had the uh, had the yellows in it. Because I seen somebody else get these and they didn't find a yellow either. There's Dustin May. That's a decent one. Set him off to the side. <clears throat> we got Bryce Harper. Uh, <clears throat> we got some other rookies in here, but there's Vladdy Jr. Um, not getting much good stuff. We got a Topps Chrome rookie card of Gavin Lux. Hey, that's a nice card. I've never pulled that card before, guys. It's the uh, Turkey Red Topps Chrome Gavin Lux. And I just pulled, and I just sold his. Uh, Cards off, I think, for a pretty decent amount. I want to say, I can't remember how many of the tops cards I had, but I think his rookies, just base rookie cards, were going for like five bucks a piece. So a turkey red chrome of Gavin Lux, which I've never pulled before. I'm not sure on the value on that. Uh, <clears throat> Brett said the Yordans are over 100 bucks in a 10. Holy crap. Yeah, get out and play some disc golf. Uh, Vladdy Jr., 2020. I don't really like those cards too much. Luis Severino, uh, Puig. If you want to let me know what that Gavin Lux Chrome card is worth, I have no idea. I know those aren't as valuable as like the parallels of the base cards, but I mean that's a pretty cool card. I've gotten this card's extended, that guy's extended stat card before. All right, I'm doing good for spending ten bucks a box here. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, I was actually just thinking back, Brett, when we did that um, the Illinois Open from 2004. I remember that tournament quite well. Uh, Shoyu Tani, who didn't really pan out so much. Juan Soto again. Glaber, uh, Glaber Torres. I got one of his cards going to PSA. I can't believe those are going for as much as they are. And a P PSA 10, been attendee. And nothing outside of pack number two. So I'd say we're doing good so far. Um, very, very nice. Do, 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 do. Uh, next weekend was supposed to be the A tier. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you still played a lot. Um, I haven't been out. Well, I haven't been out yet this year. Yes, last year I think I got out a couple of times. But the closest uh, course to me is like a good 20 minutes away. Uh, the Janesville course is about a half hour, and then the, the, the Lake Geneva one, which a lot of times it's underwater. There's Aaron Judge. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got out there a lot because the course is yeah, pretty bad, and then it gets really bad with mosquitoes in the summer. Um, but I hit an ace there last year. Um, technically, it was on my second shot. I was just kind of playing around by myself and threw a bad shot, and I was like, I want to take another shot, and I aced the hole. Um, still play casually, no tournaments. Yeah, I haven't played tournaments in years. I did, just for me, I guess. Oh my god, we got a hit, guys. We got a hit, and I think it's just a relic card, but it is a really nice Ozzy Smith. Pretty off-centered on the left to right there, but it's a bat card of Ozzy Smith Hall of Famer. I actually have his autograph on a baseball. Pulled it out of a um, out of a box um, where you get a signed baseball. Very, very nice. You have just received an 85 tops relic card from 20. So that's probably worth, I would say, at least five bucks. I mean, it's Ozzy Smith. It's a relic card. I mean, relic cards generally aren't worth that much, but if you, you get a really good player, I mean, I'm sure somebody would definitely buy that. Pretty awesome. So that was in the hit spot on our last pack there. Baby, Babe Ruth, one of my favorite players to collect when I was younger. Uh, Ichiro, I've been buying his rookie cards. I think they're really undervalued. Um, and we got Juan Soto. We got a Bo Bichette rookie card. Um, Oop, let me get some more sleeves here. I ran out on that bag. Uh, his turkey red, which, once again, not, not as valuable as the, just the base card. So, I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about the turkey red cards. 
and then um, McNeil. Yeah, I don't know how far how far out you are, Brett, but I know Fox Lake has a course there. I haven't been there in a couple of years, but I remember I think they have a couple courses there, and they're actually pretty fun. Uh, they got kind of like a beginner course. It's good for warm up. I actually, aced the first hole at that course. Um, but yeah, I haven't. I just haven't gone out all that much. Guess I'm too busy with other stuff. But I still got it. I went out. I think I went out last year towards the end, and I was still able to uh, throw all the holes like I used to. All right, now we're gonna get into uh, the 2019 update. So recap of the 2020, we got the Gavin Lux Chrome. I have no idea what that's worth. Uh, Jesus Lizardo and Jordan, which is, you know, five bucks. And uh, like Brett said, it's about a hundred bucks in a 10, which I think is a little overpriced considering, you know, this season isn't even starting yet, so. All right, getting into the 20, uh, 2019. I, I believe there's a couple good rookies in here. Um, I know there is, uh, what, uh, Eloy Jimenez and Biggio and um, Keston Hira. So there's uh, Michael Chavis. It's not, I actually just sold one of his parallel rookie cards. Um, just actually, I think it was a couple days ago. Let's see what else we got here. Sky Bolt rookie card. Irvin, Cole Irvin rookie card. Will Smith. Not, not the one you know of, <laughs> the catcher. I pulled his uh, autograph card out of uh, Chrome and out of uh, Topps um, Holiday, which was really hard to pull. There we go. We got Eloy Jimenez, um, rookie debut card. Now, I have pulled this one before. I want to say I, I sent a few of these off to PSA because um, I do remember opening the 2019 update. Very nice. We got the Eloy Jimenez uh, Really nice rookie card there. Uh, we got Jay Fish in here. What's going on? Found your channel a few weeks ago. Watching every day. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, most mostly we do um, vintage basketball boxes. That's kind of what I got into recently. I've been pulling all the old Michael Jordan cards and everything like that. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. The Shaq rookie cards. All different rookies from the early 90s. We got Mike Soroka gold card there. I'm not too familiar. It is an all-star game card, and it is numbered out of 2019, so set that in the good pile. Got a Johnny Mize, looks like a really old, what is that, 1952 tops, I think. That's the same year Mickey Mantle's rookie card. Yep, 52 tops, uh, most iconic issue in the history of the hobby. Very nice. I got a guy that I follow, been following for years, does a lot of Pokemon. He has the 52 tops, uh, Mickey Mantle and a PSA 8, which is pretty valuable. Um, Bryce Harper, Sandy Koufax. Hey, we got a Vladdy Jr. Uh, this is just his rookie debut card, uh, which isn't going to be as valuable as his regular base. Uh, but I think his regular base is in Series 2. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Brett. But, um, hey, we got a, still a rookie card of Vladdy Jr. Very nice. I never pulled his autograph on a card, but I did pull a um, Pete Alonso autograph, which I still have. Still trying to get top dollar for that. Mike Trout card there. And nothing else after that. So these packs were only, what, $5.50? I think it's a pretty good deal. Top pitchers in baseball, Soroka. Okay. So that that, that uh, card I pulled is pretty good then. Very nice. Oh, we got some sort of a blue card in here. And the cards are... Okay, okay. Might have something good here. Um, Ryan Harper, rookie card. Hey, we got a Keston Hira. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just say Keston Hira. I don't know if that's even how you... But, yeah, he plays for the Bucks. Uh, good player. His rookies are pretty hot. I've sold quite a few of his rookies. Um, this is just his debut one. I think I, think I must have sold it, but I had the green uh, chrome card of this. From the Topps Chrome update, and then uh, I also have I still have the the lights on around the bat for the Topps 
Cap's Holiday. I still have that in a PSA 10 for sale. Uh, which I sold one of them. I had two of them actually. Nick Senzel. It's pretty decent. Place for the Reds. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not as into baseball, so I apologize if I make any mistakes. But I'm not as familiar with baseball as I am, especially vintage basketball. Got a Clayton Kershaw. I've been trying to get one of his rookie cards. Uh, we got another gold card. Nice. We got a Pedro Severino. Plays for the Orioles out of 2019. Not bad. Not bad. We got another Bryce Harper and a Nick something rookie card. It's not bad. Jose Altuve. Hey, we got a black border card. So these black borders are numbered out of 299. And it is a good one. It's Paul Goldschmidt. It's got a little kind of a bend in that corner. Yeah, and a little white on the back. But see his number down at the bottom out of uh, 299. So that's pretty sweet. That that should bring, I don't know, four or five bucks maybe. Not a bad card. Let's see if we got any more good rookies in here. We've only got the rookie debut cards so far. Austin Meadows. There's Kristen Yelich. And the last few cards in this pack. Nothing super good. That's one thing about these jumbo packs is they're not the, the cards inside aren't as like protected. The packs getting jumbled around. And a lot of times you'll have corners that kind of get dinged up and stuff. But not planning on grading like a card like that. Probably a lot of these low dollar cards will just send them off to ComC. All right, let's see what we got in the next pack here. We got Kikuchi, kind of a fail there. His cards aren't worth much of anything. John Duplantier, Jason Martin, rookie. And after these cards, we do have um, a box of 2019 Series 1, which Brett told me it wasn't that good, but we're going to open it anyways. Hey, we got a 150-year card of Kevin Cron. Um, not too familiar with how valuable his cards are, but if you can get these 150 stamp cards with like one of the good rookies it's definitely worth some good money so very very nice another Bryce Harper so these must be pretty much in every pack Roberto Clemente a friend of mine when I was a kid had a Roberto Clemente card and it was worth like it beckoned it, it beckoned it out at like 50 bucks or something I can't remember who he got it from but um I remember I was like pretty jealous of that card it's pretty expensive we just didn't have cards that expensive when I was younger uh, we got a Ronald Acuna Jr. blowing, uh, blowing some gum there while he's trying to hit the ball. So, so pretty lassadaical because he was at the home run derby there. And hey, we got a Tatis Jr. rookie debut with a Vladdy Jr. right behind it. Wait a minute, I did not know that was in here. Home run derby, Vladdy Jr. Um, it's looking pretty sharp. I'll take a look at it a little later. I'm not sure. How much this sells for? I know the Topps Chrome cards like this. I was selling those for I don't know 25 bucks in a 10. I'm sure the price went up from when I was selling them. This one's got just a tiny little touch of white there at the top. It's probably not even a 10. But um, yeah, so Vladdy's got a couple cards in here. He's got the rookie debut and then he's got the home run derby card. I'm not. Sure. I'm guessing this one would be more valuable than the other one, but I'm not 100% sure. So sweet. And Brendan Rogers. Very nice rookie card there. Alright, we got a couple more packs of these. And then we are gonna get into the last box. Carries in here, what's going on? Didn't notice. I thought it was somebody else chatting there. Uh you had an Edgar Montana's short print in the first update fat pack. Oh great. Let me go back over it. I must have just skipped over it, not even it. Um let me just ch 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 grab the first cards here that I opened. Um, and let's see if we can find that card. Edgar Martinez, short print. Okay. So I'm guessing it was in the middle of the pack, and I just wasn't even thinking. Um, okay. Unless I put it off to the side oh there we go Edgar Martinez yep 
I should have known. Should have known. So we got a short print here. Wow, it's got a lot of stats on the back. Uh, 055 is the, is the number on the back. So not sure what that's worth, but thank you for pointing that out. Because I probably would have overlooked that. Um, put that in a sleeve. I'm guessing it's like a $5 card if it's just a regular short print. But, you know, could be, could be more rare. I'm not sure. Uh, card number one on the Vlad base card. Okay. All right, thanks for letting me know. Hey, look at that. We got the regular Keston Hira uh, rookie card. Very nice. Um, I don't know. The bottom border almost looks a little bit big, but no, it's about right. And the right border looks pretty decent. Um, same image they used on a lot of the tops. The tops chrome and um, the tops... The... the uh, Tops Holiday, which I have in a 10 uh, with the bat, the lights around the bat. But nice card. That might actually be worth sending off to grade. Not sure what the 10 selling for on that one, but I'm sure it's more than you would think. Okay. Let's get into this next pack here. Chris Paddock, rookie. Hey, we did get the Vladdy Jr. Um, card number one right there. Nice. I'm seeing just the tiniest little really got to be nitpicky when you look these over just look for anything but card us one and it looks like that corner just the tiniest little bit of dot there but very nice that's the uh rookie card you want to pull flatty jr so we've gotten like i don't know i think we've gotten pretty much almost every one we haven't got a kevin biggio yet i know that's one card we haven't gotten um got Wade Box. We got a uh, foil card of Zach Britton. Another Bryce Harper. Clayton Kershaw. And nothing good. Forgetting all the rookies. Um, <coughs> sorry, I got a sneeze coming there. Ugh. Chris Paddock. Alright. If I miss anything, just let me know in the chat. We'll do kind of a recap after the video, after we're done opening all the stuff here. Alright, see if we can get some more short prints. I don't think, I don't see a gold card coming up. Ooh, I think, is that, I don't know if that's something good. I almost saw, I saw a, uh, what do you call it, uh, Mother's Day or whatever, Brennan Rogers. Very cool. Mother's Day Red or pink or whatever it's called but I think it's just yeah it was just a corner of that Jim Tomey card I thought it was something something good hey we got a 150 uh, year card of AJ Polak so not super great but still and we got another Bryce Harper Javier Baez and another Vladdy Jr. Uh, de rookie debut card so the fourth Vladdy Jr. that we pulled uh, of regular cards out of this 2019 stuff 2018 update that is pretty crazy Oop. last couple cards of 2019 then we're gonna get 2019 series one Cody Bellinger hey we got a Pete Alonzo I forgot I forgot about him his uh, all-star card all-star game card is in here very nice once again I'm not sure on the current um, PSA 10 price I know his stock has been going up and I had a, so many of his Topps Chrome cards. I've sold most of them off. Um, but very nice. Pete Alonzo. And last couple cards. Are we going to get anything good? Elvis Luciano. I think I, pull, I pulled his autograph out of a Topps box. Austin uh, Riley from the Braves. Okay. I'll have to go through and check that one. So we got Pete Alonzo. Vladdy Jr. Vladdy Jr. Justin Hira, got a short print card, another Vladdy Jr., Tatis, Kevin Cron, a short print out of 300, Paul Goldschmidt, a couple gold cards, there's Nick Senzel, there's the other Keston Hira, another Vladdy Jr., there's the Mike Soroka gold, Eloy Jimenez, debut, and then Tops 2020, actually we did pretty good for 30 bucks. All right, let's get into the 2019 box here of Series 1. Which I was told was not that great, but it was on clearance, and I figured I'd give it a try for only 16 bucks. All right. 
Not sure if you get like an extra pack. Yeah, you do get the extra pack in here. Ooh, what's this? They give you, it's like a coupon book or whatever, I think. Yeah. And each coupon corresponds with the packs that come out. Yeah, this expired in 2019 anyways. So, we got, what is that? Eight, seven packs plus the, it's like a manufactured patch. I might just even just keep that sealed because it's, those aren't really worth that much money. But a manufactured patch, nonetheless. Okay, let's see if we can get anything worth money. I don't know. I don't know what we're really, really looking for. A good gold card, maybe? Or some sort of insert. There's Ronald Acuna. Second year card, Ben Zorbist from the Cubbies. Juan Soto card. Very nice. And what is this? Oh, it's like that's supposed to be the front of the card. Ed Snyder. It's like an old looking play card. I'm not sure what's like that came out of. 1951 Tops Redbacks. Huh. Paul Goldschmidt. Pujols. I've been getting a couple of his rookie cards. So they're going to be on the climb. And that's it. I don't know if I got anything good out of there. Let me know. Pack number two. Yeah, I don't think any of the like good rookie cards you can get out of Series 1, but... At least we might get something good, a short print or something. Roberto Clemente again. And Ronald Acuna. Some sort of insert card there. Matt Olson. So nothing great. I don't know what the odds are. Mother's Day. I see gold are one in 13 packs. So we might get lucky to get one. Gee, yeah, it's going to be hard to get your money back on this box. Especially at 20 bucks, but I got it for 16. That's still. Ooh, we got a rainbow card coming out. Let's see if we get something good here. We got a Hamir Candelario. I'm, I'm sure I butchered that name. There's uh, Mike Piazza. Uh, very, very nice card. 83 design. Or 84 design, my bad. Couple more cards in pack number three here, and nothing great. All right, not sure what we're opening tomorrow. I'm still, still hoping on that ultra box to show up, but we do have 91, 92 Fleer series two, so we're gonna be looking for an autograph card of um, Takembe Mutombo or Dominique Wilkins. That should be a fun time. There's a Ted Williams card, and. Don't get a whole lot in these packs. I mean, as far as the insert slot, it's not really that great. Yeah, I'll definitely pick up more update 2019 or 2018 update. It's a really good one. Any of those packs that I see, I'll pick them up. Um, obviously, I'll kind of dodge the update series one from now on. There's an Ichiro card. Very nice. I think his, car, his rookie cards are really undervalued, so I've been buying as many as I can. Because uh, I think he's going to go in the Hall of Fame. I don't see why he wouldn't. He's had some pretty amazing records. Um, Javier Baez. Very nice. What do we got here? We got a Derek Jeter card. Very nice. I had a Topps Gold Derek Jeter card for so many years. I finally like I graded it, got a ten, and sold it for like a hundred bucks. And uh, I don't know if I ever had his rookie card, but I'm sure I probably did at one point. All right, last pack, guys. Uh, thank you for coming for this Sunday opening of baseball cards. I know most of my fans are used to seeing the basketball cards. That's what mostly we've been opening lately. Uh, I still got a bunch of boxes on the way. Um, some really cool stuff. We're going to be doing uh, Collector's Choice from 94 95. I got Series 1 and 2. Um, there's a Bob Gibson. Very nice. 84 design. And um, yeah, just any of the boxes I can get my hands on. I got some cool uh, McDonald's packs from the early 90s with Jordan and Shaq rookies coming. And. Uh, Whatnot. Yes, I do have an eBay store. It's the same as my 
screen or my YouTube name. Um, you, I don't usually link it in these videos because it's just too much of a hassle, but it's linked on like all my like older videos. If you go back and look in the description, you'll have a link right in there. All right, we got a Justin Upton. I don't think it's worth a whole lot with the manufactured patch, but um, Justin Upton. So that back that box was a pretty big fail. So I think Brad was right when he said, uh, "Don't bother with 2019 uh, Series One." But we did it anyways. Uh, I think we did pretty good though for especially the other stuff with all the Pete, Alon Pete Alonzo like four. Vladdy Jr.'s, a couple um, Keston Heroes, a short print, a Tatis, a short print of Paul Goldschmidt, a couple gold cards, Eloy, uh, Gavin Lux Chrome, and uh, Jordan Alvarez. I think we did pretty decent for what we got. Other than that, hopefully, guys, have a good weekend, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another box opening video. Take care.